This guy right here. I made a toy for him today. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Thank you for watching us. What's up, buddy? What's up, big dog? If you're a new subscriber, this is Dunbar, John Dunbar. Yes, I, uh, I named uh, our main bull here from a, a movie that I grew up watching and I absolutely love, and one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, Dances with Wolves, Kevin Costner. Yes, I, I named that old goofball here uh john dunbar after uh kevin costner's major role in that movie as lieutenant john j dunbar right here so this video is for you guys with the request of many many ideas and opinions i am putting together a toy for dunbar a lot of y'all have probably watched my recent video if you haven't go check it out dunbar he's the uh he's the man he's the dominant bull out here He's three years old, and he's a, he's a really good bull. He's very calm. He's got two young bulls in the pasture with him, but they're uh, yearlings, and they're not much competition for Dunbar. He needs something to play with. I've had a lot of opinions. I had a lot of requests. Put something in the pasture so Dunbar can play with. Give him something to occupy him, especially during um, the breeding season right in the middle of the rut. He can get a little tense, and he... Uh, besides loving on his ladies, you know, he's got to show that dominance a little bit. That could be rubbing on a tree branch. It could be, you know, rolling on the ground. It could be beating up a feed trough. Could be flipping gates off the hinges. He can do it all. Good thing is, he's nice to us. He needs something in the pasture with him. So I got a really good idea because I'm going to put something together today that I think will work pretty well. And it has to be something that makes a lot of racket, makes a lot of noise. Well, I'm gonna put this together today and I'm gonna put it on the pasture and uh, he'll be able to make a lot of racket, I promise you. Right, buddy. I got this 50 gallon barrel here. I wasn't for sure what was in it. I kind of got to looking at it and I'm, it says here, super heavy duty motor oil. So it says here's got this statement petroleum corporation okay it's got this looks like a chain sprocket I, I i don't know i don't know i don't know much about it okay but this is what i'm going to use to make a toy for dunbar to put in the pasture problem though i don't know if you can hear what's in there but there's apparently some motor oil stuff still left in here I'm not going to get the torch out quite yet to cut the lid off of it. I don't think that'll be a good idea. Torch, motor oil, probably not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drill. I'm going to drill a hole in it first and uh, drain this oil out before I start to um, get the cutting torch on it and start welding on it. I'm going to drain the motor oil out of it first. Then I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to throw some metal in it some scrap metal that we have around here and uh, then i'm going to weld the top back on i'm going to put a chain through it on it i really hadn't decided quite yet and then i'm going to hang it in a tree <laughs> uh, we'll see what you guys think mainly you know what it's really not what we think it's what dunbar thinks and we'll see if it works hanging from a tree be the best toy for dunbar We'll see. I can't believe I'm doing this. I never thought I'd throw toys in the pasture with my bison um, <laughs> like a pet, but. Got an old 
2,4-D container here, and I'm going to lift this so we can drain it. Environmentalist right there. Just taking care of nature. So one of the reasons I just drilled a hole in it is I don't know exactly this is super rusted um, I don't know a lot about these 55 gallon drums but um, I'm sure this is the way that you get it out is through here you can drain it obviously that's how they filled it but there's a lot more than I thought coming out of here all right now that I've saved the planet ultimately from old motor oil. I filled two of these suckers up. I had no idea that uh, there was that much in there. And I got a little bit, of, uh, I got a little bit in this container here, but filled two of these up. These are two gallon um, containers. Actually, I'm wrong, two and a half gallon containers. We've got her drained, we saved the earth. Now I'm gonna cut this actually off and then i'm going to stuff the metal back in there put a couple of holes for the chain to go through and then i'm going to weld it back on and then shoot we're we're getting close don't want to ruin my new shirt if you guys haven't checked this out go to crosstimbersbison.com you can get a gray one or you can get a brown one i personally like the brown one it's a pretty cool color it reminds me of those guys in case you don't know what this is this is a welding shirt it's Kevin's old welding shirt. Wrangler. I like these broken ones. This is a farm shirt right here. Of course, I have the nicest gloves ever. Let's go to work. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just need a little help. So, I didn't really know how to get the top off. These little dudes off. They were kind of rusted. Kevin showed up. Told him what I was going to do. And he said... Just take those off and you can put the metal down in it. I know, sometimes you just gotta have a little, have a little, uh, little help or somebody else's opinion. Get another view, get another set of eyes on it. So, because we got those off, thank you, Kevin. Um, what we're gonna do now is, I don't have to cut this off with the torch necessarily. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got some scrap metal I'm gonna put in there then what i'm going to do is actually after i get all the little scrap metal in there i'm going to run the chain through there and i'm going to cut a hole out with the torch on this end and run that chain through here and that chain will be hanging out up here and we can um, hang it from a tree let's go find some scrap metal good place to always look the welder there's always scrap metal in here these are perfect gonna make lots of noise heck yeah oh, got some round tubing got some square tubing looks like some one inch some more round tubing looks like a great piece of pipe three quarter inch tubing thicker angle iron an old bolt Rebar. Cheap crap. An old bit. Ah, oh, this will work. I hope it makes a lot of racket. I hope it makes a lot of racket. So, um, we're turning that scrap metal into something useful, hopefully. So, found a use for it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut a hole with the torch right here to match up to the other side of the barrel because there's another hole right here actually going to run the chain through it it's going to match up to this side
All right, we got both holes cut. I used the pre-existing hole um, that was on the barrel. I cut this one out, cut the other end out. And now I'm gonna run the chain through here. I'm gonna go all the way through. We're gonna clip it. We're gonna go hang it in a tree. Could be a challenge. Took me a minute, but I got it. Got our chain running through here. It was tough getting it out the other side, but luckily I, I got a hold of it. Still see some smoke coming out of there. All right, so I got some clips. May have to get some heavy duty or clips. We'll see how it goes. Got clips on both ends. We're gonna hang this from a tree. I'll load it up. Let's go out in the pasture. We just got to find a limb so there's the corral there's the silos i think this will work it's called a blackjack oak tree it's a very dominant tree through this part of the oklahoma it's part of the cross timbers region i think we've got our spot we've got our limb reaching distance we're gonna get it going Well, there it is guys. There you have it. Dunbar's new toy, homemade right here um, from just leftover ranch stuff, leftover old dairy farm stuff I found around here. The only thing that I bought was a new chain to put up here and some clips. That was it. Got it hung up in our oak tree. This is our uh, blackjack oak tree here. But uh, now the real question is, is Dunbar gonna like this? So they're not out here right now. This is chill time for them because I'm out here um, kind of early in the morning. So um, I'm gonna see if I can round him up and get him over here because I really wanna see if he actually plays with it. I actually wanna see how he responds to it. And um, I just wanna be here to see it. So let's, uh, let's go see if we can find his big butt and get him over here with some cubes. See if the bucket gets their attention. Oh yeah. Little feet. 
Chis. Here they come. Now we just gotta get them to follow us. Here comes big boy in the back. That's who we're looking for, that's who we want. Takes is one. There they come. Woo! Slow down, big boy. Come on, Dunbar. See what you think. We're super close. Come on. Eleanor. not sure yet. All right, so no reactions yet. That's okay. I saw, I've noticed a, here recently, he's lost a lot of his um, aggressiveness here just in the past couple weeks. He still flips that one uh, feed trough over, rips the plastic container out of it. Um, so I'm not surprised that he he didn't hit the barrel, but we were gonna give it a shot anyways. We got, we got the herd around here, but just like normal just like they always do they got to check it out first of course they're probably smelling some interesting smells there's nothing on the outside of that container um you know obviously I, I i try to keep all the motor oil inside of it as possible and none on the outside let's just give it a little time and uh you know hopefully he turns it into a toy maybe not now but sometime later he will thank you guys for watching unfortunately this guy was not in the mood to play i don't know what his problem is i guess he's chilling out a little bit but when i do get that footage i will promise you of him playing with that barrel hopefully he becomes it becomes his new toy and i will share it with you i promise